Well, talk, let's talk about your vetting process. I mean, this is, it seems to me like your vetting process, your ability to use leverage and access best in class, best mm -hmm. in free resources is really one of the keys to your success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so vetting process, tremendous amount of face-to-face -face meeting, the old fashioned way of doing business, okay? Tremendous amount of due diligence, just reviewing techniques and, and planning opportunities that people put out into the public. If somebody says, that's a great idea, you need to look at their experience, how much of this have they done, are they a thought leader on the subject? Do they, for example, present continuing edu education to attorneys and CPAs about the matter? Or is it just something they read in Forbes magazine? Or even worse yet, the airplane magazine was flying to a business meeting. Um, you know, we definitely favor resources, for example, who contribute significantly to the continuing education world. They tend to be much better at understanding the moving parts that are associated with sophisticated planning because they have to teach others how to do it whether that's through the Cal Society of CPAs, through private education groups like what you do. People who teach others tend to be much more expert at that particular discipline than people who don't. Well, you know, one of the things- we, One of my prejudices. Yeah, well, we, you know, working with you and, and meeting you is one of the reasons we built the Virtual Family Office Hub, the Due Diligence Project. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to give you a lot of credit well, because, you know, working- Yeah, with you guys are doing a great job of, of bringing technology into what used to be entirely old fashioned. Well, you know, it's going to take me a long time. It, it, it'll be an infinite amount of time for me to gain the same experience that you've gained. And so instead of doing that, mm -hmm. why not just build a community of people right. like you, elite right. CPAs, tax professionals, virtual family office, mm -hmm. family office leaders who have seen a lot of planning and let's build a community of independent members mm -hmm. like you and then throw everything in the middle and mm -hmm. have you guys critique it because that's what you do great. You know, you, you critique yeah. strategy. Yeah, and, and nothing, almost nothing is new to us or to me. I've seen almost everything. Whereas for somebody who's just getting into this, so many different things are new. You want to take the newness away for somebody who's new. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. But what's powerful now is because the best people in the world have left the big firms, formed mm -hmm. small firms, we use technology. You used to have over a thousand clients, now you have less than 20, you're making more money with less than 20 than you did with a thousand. Mm -hmm. Things are changing. What we're doing now is we're, we want to find as many Richard Musios out there all around the country who have their unique experiences with their set of resources mm -hmm. and have them introduce their favorite resources in the hub. Mm -hmm. Each one individually vets them out and together we're going to find who, who are the best three tax attorneys in the country. And is this guy, which, which one of them or which gal is the best? Mm -hmm. And because we rely on people like you for that due diligence and that feedback, we really get to that cream of the crop.